Hey guys, I'm Tony and I'm Ray, and, and we're the Peaky Twins. twins. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we're not twins, as you guys can see, but we're best friends, and we're both. Our fleekiness is like it's on the same level, so that makes us twinnies. <laughs> yeah, she really came up with the name, so I'll let, let her explain like where it came from. Yeah, there's no real reason behind the name except for the fact that we stay on fleek, and it just rolled off my tongue, so I ran with it. And obviously, people gravitated towards the name because they used to see us and be like, "Oh, hey, fleeky twins." <laughs> so we're the fleeky twins. We are new to YouTube. Welcome to our channel for the first time. Hey. <laughs> this is our first video. Um, I always wanted to do YouTube, so this is super exciting for me and i've and always wanted to be a fake celebrity <laughs> so this is exciting for me as well um we basically just gonna do like a best friend tag like an icebreaker type of thing just so you guys can like figure out more about us and you know get to know our little relationship so where do we meet she stalked me <laughs> that's how we met <laughs> do i look like i stalk people we met in uh second grade yeah ps236 PS Shout out um, to <laughs> My neighbors across the street, they knew her and her father. And it was two girls, the two girls that live across the street from me, and they were around our same ages. And um they used to get they used to ride with her after schools and then her father used to drop them off and they lived only like we only lived like three or four blocks from the school, but he used to drop them off. So then me and my sister were like Okay, we could get dropped off too. We used to squeeze into this little car. Seriously, it was like But we were kids, so we weren't big. <laughs> and so then from there, we've been knowing each other. And then she ended up stalking me, you know. But we'll get to that. Yeah, y'all gonna know who stalked who for real. <laughs> How did you guys become best friends? <laughs> so, basically we went to school. We both... the. Funny thing is we both transferred to this school from like the hood and um, this school was supposed to be like the better school. Um, so we both transferred there in second grade so obviously I knew her because of the rides. But the last day of second grade, this girl was outside, right? Outside of the school and she's crying. Mind you, we just got a report card. I'm finding out what class we're going to next year. Everybody's like, yeah, it's late. What class you going to? What class you going to? She's outside crying. So I'm like, girl, what is wrong with you? She didn't care about what was wrong with me. So she, she just wanted to know if her, her future best friend was going to be in her class next year. She felt it. She Listen, felt it in her heart that we were going to be in the same class next year. She pretty wanted much. Me. She wanted pretty me. Much. I'm like, come on. She didn't care. That was quite. She was just like, what class are you going to be in next no, year? I did ask. And I was like, three days, two, one. <laughs> Miss Kim and you know was leaving the school <laughs> so she was crying because her favorite teacher in the second grade mind she's probably known this lady for the three year, months the school year, like, the you whole just met year. her she's crying her eyes out because the lady is leaving the school so I'm like girl what class you gonna be in don't worry about that teacher <laughs> um we're gonna have a new one next year and she's like 3-201 and I'm like me too and it's like yay best friends forever <laughs> And that's really how it went. Yeah, we were in the same class, starting in third grade. After that, inseparable. The next question is, how long have we been friends? Um, well, we've been friends since the second grade. What are you, eight in second grade? So we're 26 now. So soon to be 27 in like two months for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so how many years is that? 18? Yeah. 18, 18 years. It wow. Was. It'll be... Ew! It'll be 19 years somewhere in like our friendship just became an adult. That is crazy. It 18 really years. So the next one here is what is your biggest pet peeve about Tony? So this one is very hard because I you feel know, like I really want to know what you're gonna say too because we don't talk about this stuff. I feel like we don't talk about what get on. She doesn't do anything that gets on my nerves all the time. Like you know, how somebody always does something. Like there's nothing that really like really hurts really me. Really like so I was just like, yo, this is bad hard. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna say. But then I thought about it. <laughs> okay, let's say she says, um, she texts me and says, "Do you want to go to Burrito Bar?" And I go, "It don't matter." She's gonna be like, "Oh, you sound um." indecisive yes that's the word and i'll be like girl i just said it doesn't matter like obviously i'm down but she would just take that and be like no you didn't sound too sure and i'm like girl like i said it don't matter i'd be 
because I don't care. Like, usually I don't care really? about more stuff. See, that's the only thing I can come up with because, honestly, there's really, like, nothing. That, can... that makes me feel really good because we don't talk about this type of stuff. Like, we don't talk yeah. about what annoys us about each other. Because if we annoyed each other that much, we it wouldn't really be probably friends. Would. Yeah. Well, I know my biggest pet peeve about Ray. What? I want to hear that. <laughs> you know, this is not something you do all the time either. And it's not really anything, like, crazy. But, mm -hmm. like, suppose I say, like... All right, you know, um, Beyonce is pregnant. She'll be like, she is, and then like two days later, she'll be like, you know, Beyonce is pregnant. I'll be like, Ray, oh. I told you that. <laughs> and she be like, oh well, I don't remember. Like, I do catch the <laughs> yeah, it, it has happened. She got a little bit of amnesia. What's the one thing that you admire about the other? Ooh, this I is can't good. wait. <laughs> what do I admire about about you? Um. I would have to say, like, the way you, like, deal with, like, situations, like, me, like, I harbor on stuff, mm -hmm. like, and you be like, well, this is what it is, and, like, that's that, and I'm, like, moving on, like, <laughs> and me, like, I would really harbor on something, I hate that about myself, like, I hate that about myself so much, so that's something that I admire about you, I wish I could just be like, well, alright, that's what it is, and that's that, so, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm moving on, I but cannot I'll get there one day. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people don't know you like that. Like, they know you, but I feel people like I me, know <laughs> her. Like, so I just, I admire the fact that, like, people just don't get you. Like, and you're just, like, funny. And, like, they don't, I feel like I admire the fact that you don't, like, I feel like, all right, let's say we've both been through things in life, but, like, you don't wear those things, like, on your shoulders. Like, mm -hmm. the way you move, the things you've accomplished already, like, you basically do everything before me, and I just, like, admire that about you. Like, yes, like, I'm like, you got a car before me. She started driving. I'm like, girl, you out here. I got to do that. <laughs> like, she graduated before me. Like, yeah, I'm about to get that, too. I just admire it. I feel like you don't wear, like, your struggles, I guess, on your sleeves and... People just don't, they don't begin it. Thank like, you, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about that one. <laughs> Where is our favorite place to dine? <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I love me a BBQs. <laughs> she know I love a BBQs. <laughs> I like to go cheap and then still no, get No, she buzzed. loves pina coladas. That's that, what you they, love. You don't get it. <laughs> Those pina coladas at BBQs, I'm telling you. If you haven't been to BBQs, go to BBQs, get the pina colada. My, My favorite, favorite place is, is Friday. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Friday. <laughs> we both cheap, cheap dates. <laughs> I mean, we've see. been to the Philippe's and the uh, Carmine's Ooh. and all the other places. We've overrated. Who, who wouldn't rather go to a place and get a bomb ass burger and some good ass fries and a cheap ass drink? Yeah. Like, our favorite places are BBQs and Fridays, but we don't like really go, go there that lot. often. And what, um, what are our signs and are we compatible? So, I'm an Aries. And I'm a Cancer. And I read or I read up on zodiacs, uh -huh. so on zodiac signs. So I think we are compatible. Well, my sign is compatible with Leos and Sagittariuses, but I, <laughs> I follow like zodiac stuff on Twitter and stuff like that. And they always say stuff with Aries and Cancers. So I think we are compatible. Obviously, we are. We've been friends for 18 years, so clearly you can't go off of shit like that. We're compatible. Who <laughs> takes longer to get ready? So now this is probably gonna be debatable, but I'm gonna say Tony because if me and Tony are texting and I say okay, I'm gonna get ready at 8:30, and she's like, all right, me too. <laughs> 8:30 comes, Tony's still laying down. How do you know that? Don't she have a camera? In I know that. She's but you not. take long sometimes too. I can take long. You can. No, um, you can. But as long as I know what I'm wearing, I'm pretty much. Good. Same, it's the makeup. Same. It's the makeup, honestly. If I didn't have to beat the face, I'm out the door. I'm out the door. Same. Mm -hmm. Also, people don't know my struggles. Like, I wear contacts. <laughs> <laughs> she can't even take a shower for a shorter period of time. Like, <laughs> this is the thing. No, seriously. She's very anal about, I have to do the, these I really can't take the a shower, like, shower. Like, I can't do that. I can get in there, hop out. Like, it just depends on the day. If I need to be, I'm going to get in there, do what I need to do, and get out. What favorite memory do we share? That last day of school story where we basically became best friends because it's just like, it's always going to be stuck in my head. That's how we basically bonded. It was, she was crying. I was fake there even though I really just wanted to know where you're going next year. But I feel like that started it off and 
it's like the favorite we have so many memories so though many it's crazy memories. but i feel like that's what started off our whole friendship so it's kind of it's very significant in our well i'll say that one of our recent memories was when we went to um Made in America. It was just us oh, two. Oh, that was on the last. We took so a cute fun. little ride to Philly. We stayed in a cute little hotel. Mm -hmm. It was a cute. It was a really we cute trip. We had fun. We had it was, fun. It and was we fun. was go front and like, uh, honestly, I was. I didn't At the last go minute, anymore. we weren't gonna go. Like, and I was just like, no, I'm not forfeiting my ticket. Yeah. I'm going. And we had a lot of fun. We that really was a good did. trip. What's your phobia? <laughs> Listen. I'm scared of everything, okay? Um, but a phobia, mm, I'm very scared of cats. Like, I don't like dogs. I don't like... You don't like nothing. I don't, I don't like, like squirrels. I don't like squirrels. I don't like anything that cannot speak English to me and tell me this is how I feel right now. But cats, boy... I have nightmares about cats <laughs> scratching me up and like I would literally be in a room full of people the cats are there everybody's calm and I'm over here like y'all don't see the cat scratching me up <laughs> everybody's just sitting there going about their business I hate cats I'm, I'm I don't like cats either but I'm not afraid of them I don't fuck a cat <laughs> I think I really don't have any fears yeah, I think yeah you're really not scared of anything oh I would God, say that too you little beast <laughs> like if anything i'm like afraid of rejection in a sense uh, that like you know when you have like dreams and aspirations but you're like which is not good and you're like afraid to do certain stuff mm -hmm. be because of the rejection but obviously you don't want to fail yeah you don't want to fail like i'm afraid of failing oh how would you describe the other's fashion style slash sense <laughs> um for ray i would say tomboy chic I love my sneakers. I want to wear sneakers everywhere. Sneakers. Um, I'd be like, can we wear sneakers there? No. Okay. Like, sneakers in a dress in the summertime. Like, you know, sometimes people want to show their little toes. Don't sneakers. care. Oh. I'm wearing sneakers in a dress. Okay? <laughs> but, yeah. Um, if I had to describe Tony's fashion sense, um, I mean, she has a little tomboy in her, too. I definitely do. Um, let's say we're going to call it, like, girly tomboy chic something like that because Same she definitely thing. owns more pairs of shoes than me like if we have to go somewhere right now and had to wear shoes i would literally have to go buy <laughs> um a pair of shoes because i literally own like maybe one pair who is more likely to survive on an island hmm, i'm gonna keep definitely it real with y'all right now i ain't surviving on nobody's definitely. island i think it would be you um all those phobias she spoke about she gonna find out she afraid of crying <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Six on the ground, like I'm not the one. Yeah. I'm really not for the survivor skills. I'm she not gotta go to the doctor for everything. There will be no doctor out there. Thing, okay. I will cut myself and just suck it and move on. And she would say she needs to see a doctor. No, we right. both will probably end up dying, but I'll probably survive <laughs> longer than you for sure. I don't know who came up with this question. <laughs> Do y'all have other friends? No. I know nah. people want to know this because it's. It's really just mostly me and you all the time, but we do have other friends. Obviously, like and how we can hang we out have with other them friends often, often as well. I mean, we don't have many other friends though. That's the thing. Like, you know what the problem is? It's not that we don't have other friends, but we're literally always together. So you know, if I'm going, she's going. If she's going, I'm going. It's like. Right. You hardly catch us anywhere without the other one. Right. So, I mean, obviously we have other friends, but we're like the first friends. So, right. Yeah. So, um, who is most likely to get into a fight? Why y'all want to know who want to fight? Why y'all want to know who want to fight? Like, nah. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna say that it's Tony. No, two months ago would have been me, but today uh, she is changed. Neither one of us. I don't want to no, fight. No, honestly, I'm not gonna fight. We both prop. Well, okay, we both would fight. Like we had to. We're we definitely would. gonna get it shaken. It's not a problem. We from Brooklyn. We're deciding to change our lives. Right. Um, we definitely don't want to be out fighting people like fighting takes too much energy we are too beautiful and we have jobs real jobs like legit that salary. we want to keep don't don't play like, i can't go to jail I, I can't survive on an island do i look like i want to be in jail <laughs> yeah no yeah. so the fighting thing we're giving it up and we're about to be 27 yeah like, no, nobody wants on. to fight anymore can't be somebody's grown mother just we fighting. Lived high school years fighting we don't want to fight anymore. you know but but you just don't play no games. <laughs> we gonna be good. <laughs> okay. 
And for our last question, what are our nationalities? What are you, babe? Can you guys guess what she is? What? Jamaican, because I always. <laughs> why people think I'm Jamaican like it oh y'all might think I'm Panamanian too because I'm rocking y'all little chain shout out to the Panamanians but I am not Jamaican I'm not Panamanian Panamanian I am from Ghana West Africa well I was born in America I don't want people to get confused I was born in America downstate hospital but my parents are both from Ghana in West Africa shout out to my Africans we out here we, 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 we leveling up all right leveling up I'm from America I'm she American. is Dominican I don't know why she keep running this American thing she is a Dominican mommy you better bust out some Spanish for them stop playing Right. Mommy don't play. <laughs> Bada, baby. Bye. <laughs> nah. I'm, I'm American. My parents are from the South. So, yeah. yeah. I'm not from anywhere. I have to just, I have to do the, the test to find out, like, what ancestry dot com. I have to do that to see, like, you know, deeper. But I'm American. She from Ghana. I'm from Ghana, exactly. Pretty much. So that's. It. that's a wrap on our first video um we're excited we're yes. so excited um we really are two cool girls just trying to from know, Brooklyn just trying to get it nah. <laughs> and that's really it we do want to let you guys know what to look forward to moving forward on our channel yes. we're both into makeup so we definitely want to do makeup tutorials yes. and you know I'm a normal to dry skin girl she's an oily, oily. girl oh, so goodness, oil We'll oil. use products to let you guys know like what works for that type of skin. Obviously, we both have um tons of melanin, so shout out to melanin, melanin honey. Um, I'm into hair as you can see. Um, <laughs> I love my weaves. So I'm, I'm a natural, I stopped getting perms, so I'm a natural yeah. under hair. Um, I like to get braids, so I love to switch it up. So I'll be giving you guys some hair tips, you know, I'm definitely trying to step up the sewing game. So, you know, I'm going to teach y'all how to do a wig or two sooner right. or later. Yes. Um, fashion, clothing haul, sneaker haul, since we both yes. are very much into sneakers. Uh -huh. Um, but we will be vlogging. We, um, we go out enough, so it's going to be so many things. We're going to do more traveling, back traveling. Make sure you guys like Sorry. this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. Yes, yeah, so happy to be please. here. Um, we do have an Instagram page together. Underscore Fleeky Twins. F L E E K Y T W I N S. Follow us there. We have our own personal pages. Mine is underscore T M A C underscore, and I am at the T H E E R A E. That's Ray and Charles. So that's at the Ray Charles. So yes, follow us. Like we'd love to, you know, hear what you guys have to say. You can ask us questions, request videos from us. We're open to pretty much anything. So just subscribe, guys. Okay, so we'll be just doing a little bit. <laughs> Somebody getting hit on. <laughs> um, so yeah, subscribe, like. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.